Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Lord and welcome back to another episode of our Pittsburgh Steelers Madden 22 Connected Franchise Series. Now we are coming off a tough loss in which we are now 0-3 guys. So this is not the start to the season to the series that we're looking for. We have the Green Bay Packers next week. So we may be possibly 0-4. On top of all that, Najee Harris, our star running back, he's out for seven weeks with a broken collarbone. So First and foremost, we need to go get a replacement. But before we get a replacement, we do have 50 staff points, which means we got to go ahead and, and use that, right? We got to go get something, right, at some point. So what we're going to do for now is we're just going to put it on Eye for Talent, which gives us 10% off of all of our player personnel stuff. This is kind of stuff for the future, but we do want to get something there. That's all the staff points we're going to have. Remember, we do have this on slowest, so it's going to take the longest for us to get stuff, man. But I feel like if we get the discounts, that's worth investing in early, and then we can kind of go after everything after that. So that's pretty much the strategy. Now, as for what we're going to actually do with the running back position, we thought long and hard. I asked you guys in the comment section. You guys had some great ideas. I did see something that kind of popped up a few times, and I thought it was a pretty good idea as well, man. So, we are going to go ahead, and we are going to bring in Kadero Patterson. So, a receiving back. You may be thinking, is he going to be the main back? Is he going to be carrying the load? Not so much. <laughs> Not so much, man. So, we're going to bring in Patterson. And when you take a look at our depth chart and you see who we have... We have Kalen Bellage, who's going to have to be the number two running back. And then, of course, we have Benny Snell, who's going to have to be the number one running back. Those are going to be the main guys running the ball. So we're going to still move Snell up. We're going to still move Kalen Bellage up. But we're going to put Kadero Patterson as our third down running back. And we're going to have to try to utilize him in the passing game. And hopefully, we can utilize him a little bit better in the passing game. So that's probably the move for right now, man, is Kadero Patterson. And then obviously Benny Snell, Kalen Balazs. Is it enough? I don't know. But I'm not sure if I want to use draft picks. I see Naeem Hines' name out there a lot. Something I did think about. But giving up draft picks right now when our season's already off to a, you know, a, a rough start may not be the move. So we're going to see if this could be the move. And um, maybe maybe it is. Maybe it's the answer. So for Kadero Patterson... We're going to give him number 17. Not really a running back number, but he's, you know, he wears the receiver numbers. Number 84 is taken, so 17 is going to be the number for Kadero Patterson. We'll see if he can swag it out out there, man. To me, I'm not a huge fan of the Steelers uniforms. There's only so much you can do, in my opinion, man. But um, that's what it's going to be rocking. All right, so we have to release somebody else. I think we're just going to go ahead and release Josh Dobbs and carry two quarterbacks. Ah, man, it's kind of risky, bro. I don't... I think that's what we're going to do. Because there's nobody else that I really want to release. Yeah, that's what we're going to do for now, man. We're going to just we're going to just hope nothing happens to our other two quarterbacks. All right, guys. So we have our press conference. QB1 check-in. Um, the quarterly check-in, I guess. Uh, Coach, you seem to have struggled at the gate so far. When that happens, a lot, a lot of the blame is usually placed on the quarterback. Who needs to step up? We're going to be honest, bro. We're going to be honest. Big Ben has been selling this year, bro. So we're not going to put it all on the team. He's a vet. He's a future Hall of Famer. Hopefully he could rise to the, rise to the occasion once we call him out. So we're going to say ben, Big Ben, he needs to step up. So I think the blame is a strong word, but that's part of being a quarterback when the team is slumping. Everybody's looking to you to pull them out. Okay, you're going to go too fast. I'm not going to be able to read it all in time. But beat the Packers had three plus touchdowns with Ben Roethlisberger. We just need a win. I don't really. <laughs> we will see if we can get three touchdowns. But for right now, we're just trying to get a win. Baby steps, right? So Green Bay, they are 3-0. and Let's take a look at their depth chart and see what the Packers are, are rocking with, man. You know they have one of the best rosters in the game um, by default, man. Aaron Rodgers. Gambler, he's going to be tough. Oh, no Aaron Jones. So we get a little bit of a breather there. A.J. Dillon, the big 247-pound running back, is back there. So we're going to be using the cut stick a lot against him. But he's going to be the guy. Wide receiver, who's stopping Devontae Adams? We have been getting cooked with our secondary this year. I don't think that's going to change now. You have Devin Funches, Randall Cobb, um, Valdez Scantling, tight end, Robert Tanyan is there. Left tackle, 58 overall. <laughs> 
We got to abuse him, man. We got to abuse him. 87 overall left guard. Good. Center, 68 overall. Not, not that good. <laughs> 70 overall right guard. Seven, yo, there's offensive line, bro. We got to get after him. We got to get. They're just as bad as us. We got to get after him. Um, defensive line looks okay. Okay. Kenny Clark, monster. Um, Zadarius Smith. Chris Barnes. So they got some guys with Sean Gary, man. Uh, Jair Alexander, a beast. So we definitely don't want to throw it to his side, man. So we'll see everything else. Darnell Savage, Adrian Amos, man. So they got a team, bro. They have a team. Um, but if we can maybe stop the passing game, make them run with AJ Dillon, um, and try to attack, try to take that that offensive line. I think that's the move, man. They pass it 66% of the time. Stick, curl, vertical, smash. Looks like they they mix it up. They mix it up between the short and deep ball. We will go defend. Let's go defend medium for now. And we'll see what happens, man. Anything under between 10 and 20 yards. If we have to make adjustments at halftime, we will definitely go out there and we'll definitely do that. Um, let's look at the fatigue. Fatigue 100. Bro, I feel nervous every time I be practicing with these starters, man. I just don't. I want them to get the upgrades. I don't need them to get hurt. We'll keep doing it, man. Fatigue supposedly at 100%. I'm on the defensive side. Zone covers 41%. Man 23. Zone blitz 30. They rarely go cover zero man blitz. So zone blitz on first downs. Zone blitz on second and long. Zone blitz on third and long. So, well, they do everything on third and short. All right, so we'll, we'll rock with blitz counter. We'll rock with blitz counter, man. The running back spot, let's, let's do split. Make sure everybody kind of gets something there. Here we go, bro. So that's going to be the idea. Weekly game plan. Get one interception. I don't know if that's going to happen with... Uh, Aaron Rodgers over there. We'll go the pass for 200 yards. We'll see if we can possibly get that. Uh, but that's the goal, man. So we have to get a new focus player this week. Mm. Let's go. Uh, do we want to go Devin Bush or Deontay Johnson? Let's go Devin Bush, man. Let's go Devin Bush. Try to get him ranked up a little bit. All right, let's start the training. Let's see if we can get some good stuff. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. I feel like I'm playing with fire every time I do this, man. So Dwayne Haskins, throw under pressure, plus three short. Or not Dwayne Haskins. We need to be looking at Roethlisberger. Plus five, throw under pressure. Um, short accuracy, throw on the run, break sack. Our running back's got awareness, pass blocking. Okay, which is fine. I don't see anybody... But the injuries, no injuries. All right, cool, man. No injuries on the offense side, defense side. Let's let's go, man. Hopefully nobody big. Power moves, finesse moves, play wreck. I don't see any injuries there. Zone covers, man coverage. All right, so we got through this week healthy. That is big, man. That is big for us now. Upgrade players. Who do we get with the upgrades? Quite a few guys with upgrades, man. So we'll go. We'll go slot with James Washington. And we get catching traffic, catching medium route running, short route running. We have quite a few guys. So what we'll do is we'll get these two guys in front and then we'll do the last two off camera so we're not wasting too much time. Agility awareness, plus two to awareness. Man coverage and tackling. Then the other one thing everybody cares about, Terrell Edmonds. Well, I mean, I guess we might as well do everybody at this point. It's not going to take too much longer, right? Um, we'll go run support. Come down. Be able to make some tackles. We're going to need you this week, man. We got a 247-pound back. Block shedding, play wreck tackling. Kendrick Green, our center, who's out two weeks, but he still gets an upgrade. We'll go power. And we did change our scheme. To a power and run, which we wanted to do. We just had to make sure we, you know, we got that situated. But we did. Then Calvin Taylor, hopefully he's never in the game, bro. We'll just, we'll just I don't know, we'll just go power rusher, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. He, and he's out for 11 weeks, so. I mean, I don't know how he's getting upgrades. And as for the weekly, 
Let's look at the weekly staff points. No turnovers. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the no turnovers. Don't allow a passing touchdown. That's not going to happen, bro. So we're going to go ahead and we're, <laughs> we are going to change that one. Allow under four yards to carry. I feel like we could do that. I feel like with that offensive line and our defensive line, we should be able to do that, man. So everything should be set. Uh, we are a 77 overall. They are an 84 overall, so they definitely have the advantage. Can we get our first win of the year? We're at Lambeau. Or are we going to fall to 0-4? Are they going to stay undefeated? We'll find out. All right, guys. First play from scrimmage here. We're throwing the ball. He's going to check it down. I ain't really like too much, man. And can Watt fall forward? All right, we might be short. Yep, second in inches. Here we go. Can we get the ground? Ground game going. Benny Snell running somebody over. Okay. So, in Lambeau Field, man, the away team gets tired faster with decreased change of direction. So, that is not good. But, we're going to try to get the slip screen. He played that great, bro. He played that great. I figured they'll try to blitz, so I'll try to catch him with the slip screen, man. But, that was a uh, that was a terrible play. Terrible play by me. All right, second and seven. He's right there. There we go. We got to look at the icon before the snap because <laughs> we can't see it as of the snap now. There we go, Juju. Great catch, baby. Down to the 28. Let's go. Get the first. First down. Oh, we're short. Push him over. A few inches. Kenny Clark, bro. 14 miles per hour wind, so it's pretty windy, but we still knock it in there, man. 7 to 3. So, turf toe from Trey Turner. He won't be back. This man, Aaron Rodgers, has eight touchdowns and zero interceptions this season. All right, so we're cover zero. First play of the game. And. Tackle him. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. All right, man. If we get something. He's there. Let's go. We dropped the ball last week. We're dropping the ball this week. Nothing's that Bro. How, bro? How was that pick? Big Ben, man. He's right there, bro. He's right there. <laughs> He's right there. Stop throwing it in front of everybody, bro. Let's go. Good tackle, bro. Third down. Bro, who are you yelling at, Big Ben? You are playing bad, bro. You need to yell at yourself right now, man. Third down. Bro, you're that. You're in front of him. This is why I couldn't be a coach, IRL, bro. I was be yelling at everybody. So third and nine. Yeah, that's a pick, bro. Why'd he throw it so far? Bro, he threw it across the field, bro. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, third and four is our chance. Short throw. Right to their go to guy. Now he's open. That was on me. That was on me, man. Touchdown. This is getting ugly. All right, so we have Dwayne Haskins in the game now, man. Let's see if he could give us some type of spark. As we find Gentry, bro. Let's I know he's not better than Big Ben ratings wise, but we just need something. We need something, you know what I mean? So, we're going to see. We're going to see if he can give us that something. 
All right, Kalen Bilat, we were going to run the ball. We we're going <laughs> to see that safety come down. Definitely get out of that. There we go, Juju. Mm, can he get the first? Dang it. Great tackle to bring him back. All right, so third and one. We're going back to the ground. We just need a yard, Benny. We just need a yard, Benny. There we go. And we got... Oh, I thought we was going to get way more. Great tackle. Second down. We missed him there, bro. We just kept backing up. We backed up way too far. So third down. Bro, you got to get that ball lower than that, man. Him throwing a high calls an incomplete pass. Oh, they went deep down the field. Joe Hayden, let's go, baby. Where to get that interception? We needed that, man. We got on Aaron Rodgers of all people, bro, but we needed that. We got to score. So that was Aaron Rodgers' first thrown interception of the season. Let's see if we can make it count. We'll take that. A couple yards there. He's there. Chase Claypool makes the catch. There we go. Can't him make him miss, but we are down to the 14. Closest we've been so far today. The six. Go, go, go. He's not going to get in there, man. Down to the two. We got to punch this in. First to go, man. Power on power. Are we in there? Let's go, baby. Benny Snell with the reach to get into the end zone, man. So, our guy's still fighting, bro. Long, long uphill battle, but we're still in it. We missed the extra point, bro. All oh, that win. That sucks. All right, let's pick on the 57 overall. We can't pick on him. Good tackle from Devin Bush. I thought the animation was going to make me <laughs> keep running out of bounds. All right, again, bro. We're trying to pick on this 50-something overall. There we go. We get past him. Aaron Rodgers gets rid of it quick. But if he keeps checking it down, we'll take that, bro. So we may be on this D-line for a little bit. Good thing, bro. Oh, breaking the tackle, man. That is not good. So he's getting rid of it quick. I guess that's what happens when you play, you know, go like Aaron Rodgers, bro. But I'm hoping to force him into a mistake. It could be the complete wrong game plan that we're trying, though. Bro. Cobb is destroying us right now, man. Number 20. It's just not turning around. It's the second time this game he has not turned around <laughs> when the ball is right next to him, bro. So, uh, He turned around. He just didn't go for the ball. So, making it tough, bro. Making it tough on us. All right, so it's third down. We'll see if Eric Ebron's manned up or not. He's not. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hit Deontay Johnson. Uh, probably should have called a timeout there. We didn't. Man, we miss him, bro. We miss him. Six seconds left. Uh, Juju couldn't go get it. Halftime, man. We still can't get points up. All right, so we're going to switch the offensive focus to... Throwing it deep, so we're going to have to let this thing go, man. And then short passes, because I think that's where they're eating us alive at right now. And here we go. Another short pass. Came up making the tackle. All right. Let's get after it again. Third down. Bro, he is all by himself. I think we focus too much on the short route there. It's cover two flat. It's wide open in the zone. It's just sitting there, bro. What are we doing? 
All right, let's see what they do. Aaron Rodgers in the zone. They're running the ball, though. We ran right past them. The reach for it didn't work, man, but first and goal from the one. All right, so we're just selling that on the run. They do a play action. They're scoring. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, man. Dominated performance from Green Bay. Oh, man. First play for us in the second half. Here we go. Good catch. First down. Let's go, Deontay Johnson, man. Able to get yards after the catch. Second down, man. Play action. Mm, nothing really there. We check it down. We get something. At least we get something. Third down. Third and six. We missed him. We missed him. We got to go for it, though. They want us to kick the field goal. We got to go for it. Fourth down. He drops it. Another drop, man. Turnover on downs. Good throw. Good play from TJ. TJ, bro! Pick it off. Let me use him again. Can we get the sack? Let's go. TJ Watt gets there, man. We get the sack on Aaron Rodgers. We just take anything positive as a win right now, man. Second to five. Run up the middle. Let's go. There it is, man. First down, baby. Second down. We got him. We overthrew him. We overthrew him. He was there. He was there. There we go. Hitting Juju. Good catch and stride, man. Gets out of bounds. Here we go. Deontay Johnson with the catch. Gets out of bounds right there, man. Down to the 14. Keep it. There we go. Dwayne Haskins. Go ahead and get down right there, man. Down to the five-yard line. Right, here we go, second to goal. He, there we go. He slipped, but the slip, the slip worked. <laughs> the slip just allowed him to run in, man. So we finally get another touchdown. Hit Eric Ebron. There we go. Lower that shoulder, man. It's gonna be a more manageable third down. Oh, that was close. Good catch, though. Let's go, Juju. Good catch there, man. Inside the 15. All right, third and one. Punches in. Or at least get the first down. <laughs> Can we get in there? Kalen Balaj. He can't get in there, man. All the blood of the run. He holds on to it. Thank you. Touchdown, man. So we finally have momentum, but it's just, it's far too late. Here we go. Patterson, get out of bounds. Here we go. Claypool gets the first down. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We don't have a lot of time. All right, we got to spike it. We got one timeout left. Spike it. We got 11 seconds, man. We're just trying to score. It's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Mm, got hit as we threw it. Juju. Couldn't get it. Deflected. And that's the game, fellas. That's the game. All right, guys. So 42 the 23 massacre, man. Even though we played a lot better in the second half, only giving up one touchdown, but I don't think they really cared <laughs> as much in the second half. We did put up 376 yards of offense. They had 338. You guys know what, what the thing was, man. Turnovers, minus three. Four turnovers in the game. The last one, I guess, really doesn't count, but still a turnover nonetheless, man. 
That that killed us early in the game, man. Aaron Rodgers, 17 for 22, 315, four touchdowns, one pick. Looking at our guys, man, it was brutal. Dwayne Haskins played okay, 22 of 34, 263, one touchdown, one interception. But Big Ben, man, did not look good at all. Five for 10, 54 yards, no touchdowns, three interceptions. Benny Snell could not run the ball at all. <laughs> 11 carries, 21 yards, 1.9 yards a carry. Cadell Patterson, four for 18, four and a half yards a carry. Kalen Bellage, four yards a carry. Um, obviously, we had to get away from the running game because we got down so quickly in this one, man. Chase Claypool did have six catches, 71 yards. Patterson, five catches. Deontay Johnson, four for 66. Juju, four for 86. Eric Ebron, eight for 28. On the defensive side of the football, Minka led us in solo tackles, even though he missed that crucial one on the first offensive play for them. TJ Watt with two TFLs. We used them a little bit more, well, a lot more this game. I think that's my, that might be the route moving forward, especially if we're going to want to give him that big deal. Um, he did get a sack, and then our interception came from Joe Hayden, old man Joe. All right, so after the game, Dwayne Haskins gets an upgrade, which he should. He played okay. <laughs> he played okay. I'm not going to say nothing crazy. He played okay, though. Uh, we'll go field general just to improve his accuracy a little bit if he does ever have to get back in the game. I still think Big Ben is still the move just because that's the challenge we said earlier, man. But he just played so bad this game that we had to we had to take him out, at least for the time being, bro. But um, power upgrade for Zach Banner, plus two to the pass um, block power, plus three to the run block. So he gets something, man. I think we got to check in with the QB1 situation and... I don't know what this is going to do for the morale of Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, I've, I really felt good about our chances of win this week. Didn't go away. Didn't pick up the win. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> pretty much exactly what happened. All right, so um, it didn't tell me if he lost anything or not, man. So we got to figure out something, man. We got to figure out a bounce back. But um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. You guys let me know what you guys think. We have the Denver Broncos next Hopefully, that's a winnable game. We got to win one of these, man. Um, and then we have Seattle after that before the bye week. So, maybe. Maybe we win one. But we're 0-4 for right now. So, not an ideal start to the 17-game season. But you guys know the model, bro. We're never going to give up. We'll see if we can do something to try to, you know, rebound the season, man. But you guys let me know um, what we could do, potentially, to improve the team. Whether it's trades, whether it's just waiting until you know we get Najee Harris back something like that maybe even a switch of the playbook who knows man but hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode if you did please do me a favor go ahead and leave this video a like it definitely helps me out a lot and subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy D Lord I'm see y'all next time peace